By now, most IT shops have responded to the Heartbleed vulnerability, patching OpenSSL to version 1.0.1G and replacing keys and certificates on external web servers. But there's a problem. It's come to light that Heartbleed vulnerability may have been exposed for months before being found. Cloudflare put out a challenge to see if the Heartbleed vulnerability would actually result in their private key being stolen. After only a few hours, the Cloudflare private key had successfully been compromised via the Heartbleed vulnerability. Cloudflare recommendation is now to reissue and revoke private keys. Some organizations believe that patching to OpenSSL 1.0.1G and renewing the certificate is sufficient. It's not. Renewed certificates still use the old private key. Replacement of the private key is required. The vulnerability is not limited to publicly facing web servers only. At least 51 confirmed vendor vulnerabilities for mail servers, chat servers, VPNs, network appliances, and client software running OpenSSL 1.0.1 to 1.0.1F are all impacted. The scope of the problem is massive. Gardner recommends all services that run on Linux or Unix-based operating systems and utilize SSL, TLS, session, encryption, or authentication should be evaluated. There's no way of telling which keys may have been compromised that may result in, in the complete compromise of other systems from stepping stone attacks. With this in mind, once all OpenSSL systems have been patched, the recommended remediation is to replace all keys and certificates, revoke all certificates that have been replaced, and validate that keys and certificates have been replaced.